chats. Yeah, I go to the live chat. Hi everyone. Hi Maria. Um, hi Lulu. Hi Lisa. Hello Frido. Did I do the right thing? Let me double check. It's live chat. We should be all together now. Let me check if my mic works. You will let me know. It's turned on. Oop, and there is the iPad. Hi, Lulu, Rose, Laurie. Hi, Lisa, Blinky Poo. I just said Blinky Poo. <laughs> Hello, Johanna. Uh, is the sun back? What I love about solar eclipses, not the sun itself, but the light that everything is shining. Wait, you know, never mind. <laughs> it's like sunsets. I actually like to look in the other direction, not in the sun direction, the other direction. So pretty, so underrated, as well as the light during a solar eclipse. It's crazy. Um, hi. Okay, I will. This is a live stream. Everybody who will chat with me will chat with me right now. And if you watch the um, recorded version, you might be wondering who I'm talking to. I will be talking to Sandy. Hi, Sandy. Hello, Frank. Frank, you're from Richmond, Virginia, so not from Germany. <laughs> Um, hello, Linda, Monica, Tara, So hello, um, I gotta look in this direction because I have an iPad with a bigger screen and I can see your comments better than right there. Um, okay, I was 16 by 20. Um, first things first though, I will take a break from the lives. If I get the ch chance, no, not the chance, the time and the fun to edit some other videos that I will be sharing on Mondays for the next three weeks, I might do that. I, it's not a promise, but um, I hate to leave you guys empty on a Monday. Mm, so I'll be back on the 26th, which is a Friday. On the 27th, we have a collaboration from the Fluid Art Experience teachers. So we will show you um, how we made our raffle piece. So it's, there's going to be a raffle on the gala dinner. I think that would be Friday night, um, where every time, for every, sorry, you saw my tongue. <laughs> For every ticket that you purchase, every class you're taking, you're getting a ticket for the raffle and that gives you the chance, so more classes, more chances, um, gift baskets, stuff from our sponsors, there's those raffle pieces, every teacher is going to do a 20 by 20-ish canvas. And on Saturday, the 27th, we will show that to you in a little train. And that will be the day when I'm back. So the following Monday, <laughs> following Monday, I'll be doing the live again. Free TLPs. I think, you know, I don't know what they put in, in the gift baskets, but it's totally, might be. I don't know. I've never got one. Uh, let me pour my tea real quick and then let you know what we're going to do. This is a used canvas. Uh, we did this a couple weeks back. Hi, Tundra. Um, I don't love it. Um, it had really cool parts that I will hopefully remember in a different painting. Um, I do pour over dried paintings, but I try to, I try not to. Um, thing is you will, if you just pour over, there's, there's, hello Helga. Sorry. 
So, um, oh, I'll give her a second and then I close the door. <laughs> Okay, at least she does her job. Um, where was I? Oh, so you have little crevices and stuff on your canvas that you poured on, like the cell activator that sinks will usually leave a little canyon-y thing. Uh, the more cell activator you put on, the more, the deeper it will get. So you will see that through the new painting. I try to, yeah, like I said, not do that a lot. And if I do it, I just pour over once and not more than that because it will get, I don't know. I, I like the texture of a canvas and I like to see it. And the more you pour over, the more, the less canvassy it looks. All right. Uh, hmm. Let me pour my tea. And then we're gonna work with, hi Robin, sap green, and black and gold. That's it. Well, I had a little addition. Um, I wanted to have a little bit more bling, more uh, bling at all. So I mixed up some asparagus asparagus that's what it's called mm, pfefferminz tea with viel zucker okay so i'm i'm excited to go to germany at this time of year hopefully i get some asparagus because you guys you know you don't know what you're missing um by not eating white asparagus Ugh. i'm probably gonna get poisoned by it in the next three weeks in a good way and this is my sap green so the reason why i'm just hi sheldon i'm glad you make made it um everything is a little thick <clears throat> so i will change that in a second then i have my just plain black I'm trying to, so if you watched last week's, last Friday's video, um, let me show it to you. That is this guy. Um, see how this looks white? It doesn't, it doesn't matter at all. So what I, I kind of wanted to do this on this painting where I have the paint in the middle and put the hide color the black in that case on the outer sides and I kind of got confused while I was painting not confused but you know led to a different approach um, so I will try to do that this time where I put the green down and then surround surrounded by the black so not my whole canvas is covered in black Um, you that's it let me check while I zip on my tea if you have any questions most um so if you have sometimes I don't see your questions um, wait to the very end once I do my fly over um, and then send your questions that way I know I really have to look at that Spargelzeit you cannot get you cannot get white asparagus here which is Let's not get into it, but it's not good. At least they have strawberries. Jeez, California, what's wrong with you? Okay. Oh, good. I know, Frido. That's why it's the asparagus season. It's just a few weeks of the year for everybody who's not German. And it's the white asparagus. It's the same as the green asparagus. It's just picked from under. 
it's still in the dirt. That's why it's still white. There's no chlorophyll, the green stuff in the plant. Yeah, super excited. That's what I'm going to do in Germany. Eat asparagus and go to a sauna. And now I'm going to paint. Let me flip you over. I have my greens. I showed you my greens. I have a gold cell activator. Maybe I use a black one too. Um, yep. You have a catering company, Sheldon? Where do you hire it? Uh, where do you, where do you, where do you, where do you order it from? Because I would love to get some white asparagus here. Okay, shut up, Jessica. <laughs> That's not what we hear. Let me flip you over. Hello, ceiling. Hello, canvas. Oh, hello, Helga. <laughs> Always a cute sound, little dog. Hi. Well, you can bark in here, you know. Alrighty, poops. There we go. Oh, don't don't let me forget to show you the piece from last week. I wasn't so sure last time, but I do like it. Alrighty, here's my white. <clears throat> and I still, when I reuse a canvas, I do put my water on the back, just to make sure. Okay, so those paints here are freshly mixed. And I add, in this case, it's Minwax that I just put in my Josonia bottle. And this is how I thin my paint out. When I know that this paint is thicker because it's been sitting, I do add a tiny bit of water because that's what it's missing. I don't necessarily want too much of the varnish in here because it can get too slippery. All right, that's my asparagus. Mm, asparagus. <laughs> okay, and that's it. That's all my colors, except for, except for my black. Let me add a little bit of this. That's a very pretty color, I gotta say. I'm not a big green person, you know that. But the sap green. And it has very similar. So my student, Robin, that's why I mention her every time I use this color. She introduced it to me and said, it's the paints gray. It's the green paints gray. And you guys know how much I love the green, um, what they call it, paints gray. Because it is beautiful, stretchable, and it, I think it's because it's, you know, I actually have no idea why that's the case. But this, you can stretch it and it does this beautiful gradient and this green does the same thing and it looks great with gold. I just add some interest here. I want some movement in the green part. Mm, if you watch me for a while you heard me probably say several times that the composition you put on here will expand approximately three times as big as it, you can see it now. That is because of that pillow paint. Because um, we're going to stretch everything 
and the white will take my colors with it. So this will expand. We all know that already. So those are very bubbly as I can see, because um, I just mixed them. The black is a little bit older. It shouldn't be that bubbly. And I want to add just the black on the outside. Make sure there's enough on the outside, outside, only because I want it black. I want to keep it black. And the more I stretch these paints, the less black they get, um, you know, depending on the color. All right. I'm going to be generous because I also need to get rid of some paints. <laughs> I'm leaving tomorrow and I don't think I will paint that much today or tomorrow. All right. Let's just, because we can, add some lines in the black. I love doing that with the um, blingy colors because they do have a different appearance on black. And sometimes a really pretty one. There we go. All right. Hallo, Margit. Was geht? Liebe Grüße an Deutschland. Ich habe gerade erzählt, dass ich morgen hinfliege. Oh, so the sun is coming to... Mm. Okay. We well, all you guys saw the eclipse. We had just a 30%, I think. Lisa, you can get, never get a smooth coat of... I love the way you spell smooth. <laughs> That's how I would do it. Um, black faux pillow. <laughs> well, yes, we will, we will look into that in my class for sure. Um, let me pop some bubbles before I start swiping. So I want to go definitely in that green, probably with a smaller palette knife. And then I want to add some swipes right on the border of the black and the green with a little bit of a bigger palette knife. Here is one, but it's dirty. Right. Okay, then got my gold cell activator. It has, why is there red in it? Hmm. It's fairly thin, probably still thicker than other people's cell activator. And then I had a black one that's right here. There we go. Let me add the gold first. And then some of the black. So most of you know this, you really need a tiny, 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 tiny amount. Okay, let's start with this. I have to have in mind how much paint you put on this. Also have a mind, you can totally take your time. See a lot of people rushing it. You really don't have to. Um, hmm. Is there things to explain? I don't think so. Let me scoop some up. 
I'm losing a lot of definition here. That's usually because there's a lot of paint in there. And the more paint you have on your canvas underneath your swipe, the more your paint is able to sink through. And that's what it's doing right there. That means I have to hurry a little bit. So my idea of doing something in the green I think I will go, so I wanted to do on the border, on both sides of the border and then go in the middle. I, I don't think that's going to work. But knowing that this will expand and whatever's in the middle will stay in the middle if I don't tilt. Um, this is the interesting part and this is the not so interesting part. So I think I will go into that green and then from the green into the black. Let's see. You can also, it's also possible what I just said with the thick layer of paint underneath your swipe. If you use a lot of cell activator, that will sink faster too, because it's heavier. Um, let's start with this guy. And I always have my spinner to help me move. Ooh, ooh, <laughs> never did that before. Hmm, I got confused. All right. I kind of like having a solid piece of something there. Um, I still will move to a smaller knife now. Should I spin in between? Sorry, the tea. <laughs> apologies, apologies. Feel free to skip ahead. Because I'm pouring my tea. <laughs> that, by the way, if this is too much chatting for you, if you watch the recorded version, there's a great tool that's called the... What is it called? <laughs> well, you can skip ahead. The forward button. I think I want to go in here and in there, somewhere. I always have my little vision cut out. If my theory is right, that it will expand by three. And then I kind of know what's, what I'll be left with if I spun right now. This time I changed the black and gold up. I go in here and I can just tell this so much paint. A lot. But man, that green is pretty. Okay, that was number one. See the white there? I went deep in the pillow. That's why there's that white. Same thing. Gold and black and I will just get rid of some. And then this here. Kind of like in circles, even though I've been doing a lot of straight lines lately. <laughs> That's probably what you gotta do, counteract. Oh, nothing happened there, cell-wise, which is not, you know, who cares? 
Okay, let's loosen this up. I don't know if you can guess what my favorite part is, but I might have to say goodbye to it. Because it's right there. I'm pretty sure we will lose that unless I do something. Let me get one more golden swipe on there. Here. And I want to see if there's anything underneath here. Whoa, so much paint. Just some more interesting patterns. Some chops. There was one point when I thought I don't have enough of the pillow paint on. And now I know it's story of my life, way too much. Let's spin it. So I was thinking if I did the split way, doing the black pillow on the outer sides, you will still have the effect of the hide and reveal because of the white underneath, but also make it actually lighter than my other hide and reveals. And I think that was a good call. Hmm. Oopsala. So this is already, yeah, gone. I really liked that part. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. Let's spin it again. Hi, Meredith. Hello, Carla. Thank you. <laughs> a leafy sea dragon. That's totally... Have you seen those leafy um, seahorses? They look so cool. Do you understand what I'm trying to say about this green? I think I used a little bit too much of the asparagus. And I have a little bit too many bubbles in here. Meckern auf hohem Niveau gerade. Sorry, don't know how to say that in English. So I'm just... With swipes like these here, I really try to bring some... something different into this kind of art. Um, Wow, there's still so much paint. I had no idea. I mean, did you think I put too much pillow paint on? And I did. I don't think I will ever learn. Um, did I have a question? Did I stop mid-sentence? Sorry if I did, but that's what I do. <laughs> Okay, so I'm thinking lots of spinning ahead of us. Well, not super a lot, but more than I want to. I would totally leave it the way it is right now. But I can't because it would just, excuse me. Did I stop mid-sentence again? <laughs> hmm. 
<laughs> Not hating it. Just those bubbles. I wish they weren't there. I'm not even sure if you can see them. I know I went heavy on all the other paints. Because like I said, I want to use them up. It doesn't help though. I just waste it. And I try not to waste paint. But oh well, one more swipe and then I check the middle to see how far we have to go. Hmm, I kind of like the, how it spins out. Again, bubbles, way too many bubbles. Especially when there's white underneath them. Not a big fan, but if there's a color underneath, big fan. Okay. Yeah, so this is like, hmm, I would say almost three millimeters. We want to be within one or two. And I definitely pop those bubbles. Once I can see they are taking paint with them, you can see little traces that they make. Because they don't move as fast as the paint around it. So we have enough paint on there to actually move the composition a bit, which can be a good thing if you want to do something to the composition. In this case, I am kind of sad about it because I don't want to move anything. Oh, thanks, Raven. That is sap green, my new love. I think um, I will try it though <clears throat> without the um, asparagus. It does flocculate a little bit. You can see it in the white part. So that is only when um, it touches the pillow paint. Something to the pillow paint that makes paints um, break pigments break from their binders if uh, if that or you probably because it's white you see it better maybe that's what it is who knows what do I know okay cleaning the edges and then I give it <laughs> do I give it a spin I want to move some part <laughs> okay worst Scenario is I like this part and that part. So everything will go. This part and that part will go. Um, and I can't really save both of them. Unless I just tilt in this way and that way. Let's start with that then. It's a heavy canvas. So when you see how long it takes, I don't know if you can tell my other videos that are edited, how it actually, how long it takes until the paint starts moving. But once it moves, it, it will move fast. <laughs> Speaking of moving fast. Hello, Helga, did I hit you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me check. The painting is fine. Something 
took off my table and I can't, I don't know what it was. I hope it was not an open container of paint. Oh, gee. All right. <laughs> okay, here you go. <laughs> well, I, wow, I saved this painting. Okay, let me get this. Uh, I messed up a jelly print. I'm dripping all over the floor, but hey guys, look at this. Nothing happened at all. <laughs> Nochmal. Und die nächste Runde geht rückwärts. <laughs> Sorry guys. <laughs> It's always fun. It doesn't happen a lot, but when it happens, phew. Okay, I got a little bit on that edge. But man, how lucky. That would have given me a reason to start over. <laughs> I don't even know why that... Let's not ask questions, let's keep going. Clean my fingers. Oh, I found what went off my table. It was paint, but um, closed. So that was good. <sighs> All right. Let me spin it one more time. Slowly. Yeah, so usually I get a, um, asked a lot about clips for my spinner. So um, I know Erica and her spinner come with clips or you can buy them from her. Um, I don't really think they are necessary, yes, you <laughs> could see. Um, only because, so th that the canvas flies off is, it does not happen a lot. Like I just said, the paint on my spinner underneath the canvas will suck it down really good. Sometimes I have to, if it takes me a while, I have to pry it off my canvas uh, spinner. Did you hear that? that? Yeah. Plus I have no way of making them. I make everything by hand. I don't have a CNC machine or laser cutter or whatever. It's all my hands and the table saw. And a sander. Um, so yeah, I don't have a way to make those. Still paint going off. I might want to risk it and let it dry this way. I know. And now it's a little better now. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it's a total lizard, isn't it? Lizard. I love the faint lines of gold here. Let me tilt it in one direction and just see. It will definitely make this piece bigger. I'm not sure if I want that, to be honest with you. Yeah, I think we can stop. Clean the edges. One more baby spin, and then I will flip you over. <laughs> It was fun.
Okay. Um, that is it. Let's start here. So that's, this is where you can see the true sap green. That's a stunner. That light green is the asparagus. <laughs> Oops, I'm a little close. And um, let me show you the bling because you can, on the black, <laughs> Hard to hard to make it work, sorry. And then here's the hidden and revealed green. I love it. What happened here is pillow pain that I dragged with me, and it starts. I told you before. Um, it will once you mix up your layers. Um, meaning put the pillow paint on top, which happens when you swipe sometimes it will dry different than the other colors and that's when it tears and cracks can look really cool but also not here's really faint gold lines And you can barely see the gold cell activator, but you will see it better once this dries. There we go. Oh, <laughs> I like that guy. Um, see all the bubbles? Um, that's a little bit too much for my taste. Um, I mean, so it's, I think it looks a little bit um, more intense on camera than it is in reality. It's more like olive not as bright green stars right there. Um, the Granny Smith Eclipse. <laughs> I will pop all those bubbles that's still there. Can you see? I'm not sure. Love the faint. Oh, yeah, that. <laughs> what can I say? I'm gonna let it dry and see. Um, it's gonna look different when it says dry and you see the gold cell activator popping. It'll do that once it's dry. Let me flip you over and put you back in my. Tripod. Hi. Um, Johanna, my gold CA is golden steep gold mixed with bright gold. Um, yeah, it is heavy and it will sink and this will probably sink too. It, you know, it used to work for me at one point. Now it... Mm, I make it a little thinner so it gets lighter. Mix it with a bright gold. I think the, <clears throat> excuse me, I think the deeper, darker golds are actually heavier than the brighter ones. Try that. Maybe it works. Um, or mix it with a different brand like PBL Gold, for example. That doesn't seem to sink as much. Thank you, Rose. Yeah, yeah, try that. Um, I did another one that I can't find right now, but last week's video, that's what I intended to do. But in this one, um, I added, so those lines are added with the cell activator. Oh, just watch that video. <laughs> Let me show you last week's piece that I was not super fond of. Not all of you were fond of it either. Well, you know what? I'm liking it. I'm liking it now. Uh, 
especially with these. So I love those lines that go up and down. Um, that would be vertical. <laughs> and um, the scoop and drags on top. What bothered me last week was this scoop and drag that the position of it and the whiteness of it mm, wasn't a big fan. But I, yeah, I like that something's happening here go in all directions and then having those vertical lines. Um, definitely, even though it's not my favorite, it is inspiring. And that's what most of my paintings do for me. <laughs> it's not necessarily that I love them, want to hang them up or sell them or whatever. They just, it's a step further. Um, and that's how I approach my artworks. Ah, okay. I understand, Johanna. Maybe just try to make it thinner. You know, just more floatrol. Maybe even water. Okay, now I'm, I don't know. You got this. Okay, if you have any other questions, Questions. Oh, Lisa, is your cell activator one to one? Um, approximately. I never measure. <laughs> I just. It's some. It's never thicker than one to one. Let's put it that way. Sometimes it's thinner, but never thicker. Thank you, Raven. Thank you, everybody. Um, <laughs> oh, Sean. Yeah, frog roadkill. I take it. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, why not? Um, all right. So what else? Nothing. I'll be gone for the next three weeks. Let's say I'll be back in May. And if I'll be earlier, I'll let you know. Until then, I'll keep my subscribers, my members and my patrons posted. Planning on doing some vlogging. Maybe you meet my friends. Maybe you meet my parents. Maybe I show you old artwork that I used to do. Um, yeah, I'm excited to be on a vacation. I'm intending to <sighs> calm down a little bit and see what the future brings, make new plans. Definitely, I know exactly that I'm gonna do more for my patrons. I'm so bad at this and I'm so glad you guys are sticking with me. Um, yeah. Want to see Helga for the last time? Not the last time. I'll be back so quickly. Oh, that's me. I have to flip you over. <laughs> Here she is. She's a good girl. Never thought I would say that. Um, I love you guys. Thanks for being here. Bye-bye.